folks, it's Sam. So I'm gonna do my Friday favorites and fudgeroos. And I can't tell if this is in focus. My eyes, I'm so tired, it's ridiculous. So my eyes are like, I can't like see if it's perfectly in focus or not. So if I'm a little bit blurred, sorry about that. You just won't see all my imperfections. <laughs> Um, I really don't have that many this week. It's not like a super duper crazy one like normal. I haven't really gotten anything new or kind of tried any anything that is like amazing that I have to talk about. So I just got a couple of things and then, you know, that's it. So the first thing that I want to show you is I got this at a garage sale with my sister. We went for the weekend. Well, not for the weekend, but we went the last weekend. This was 25 cents. The label is still on. But it's the Avon Naturals Nourishing Banana and Coconut Milk Body Spray. And when I first saw it, I was like, ooh, banana, that is gonna smell sick. But it smells really good. It like literally is just the perfect kind of summer smell because it smells just like, um, like the banana boat tanning oil or any kind of like tanning kind of something that you'd put on at the beach. Actually, I'm gonna put it on right now. Oh, it just makes me feel like I'm at the beach again. I just love it. If you're someone who doesn't like banana, cause I don't like the smell of banana. I think it's like gross and I just can't really stand it. But it doesn't smell like banana to me. It just smells like tanning oil. So I don't know, I really like it. It smells really good. Jay was actually like, wow, you smell really good. And this was at the end of the day and I couldn't smell it on myself anymore. And I was like, oh, thank you. He's like, is that some kind of Victoria's Secret perfume or something that you got? And I was like, no. I was like, is that stuff from, from Avon that I got at the garage sale? And he's like, oh my God, it smells so good. So he really liked it. So apparently it's kind of a sexy smell or something. But yeah, it was 25 cents. <laughs> my sister got the pomegranate mango one and she loves it too. And that smells really good too. So that was like a really good deal. Woohoo. Okay, the next thing that I have been loving, this is what our house smells like this week. It's the Luscious Lemon from Scentsy. And that's what it looks like. And it's just got the yellow um, what's it. I just put two in our bathroom. And so I should say our bathroom and hallway smells like this. Um, I'm still using up the rest of the guava nectar in the other rooms, but this is what's going on in the bathroom. And it's just a really yummy, lemony smell. Oh. Yeah, it's just like, it's just like really lemony, kind of like a lemony cake or a lemon bar or something like that. But it smells really yummy and it's a nice kind of fruity smell for this time of year. The next thing I actually like used for I think like one of the first times and I was so impressed with it. It was so pretty. CoverGirl Wet Slicks Lip Gloss and this is what it looks like. And the color is Peaches and Gleam. And I wore it in one of my tutorials. I think it was my prom tutorial. Yes, that's what it was. It comes with a brush, or sorry, not a brush, a sponge tip applicator. Um, it smells really sweet, and that's the color of it right there. So it's just like a really pretty kind of rosy pink, and it's got little sparkles in it, but it's really, it's not very sticky at all, and it looked so pretty on my lips. It really made my lips look like really nice and kind of moisturized, and I was actually really impressed. I don't normally kind of go for these slightly more darker kind of rose colors, but there's so many sparkles in it. It was really reflective and it just looked really, really pretty. So if you're someone who likes lip glosses and you're looking for a drugstore one that's pretty, peaches and gleam. I don't really know the words. So I just broke it down for you. Right, oh, what is my stupid piece of hair doing? Next thing is I'm actually wearing in my hair today. So if you're wondering how I got my hair like this, I took a shower, I did not wash my hair. I washed my hair yesterday and then today I just wet it. And then I put this in my hair. It's the Aquash Sea Salt Texturizing Spray. And if you guys have been watching me for a while, you'll know I've been talking about this for a really long time. I love it. It's basically just like, if you wanna get that really beachy kind of like messy, just got out of the ocean hair, that's what it is. It's a salt spray. And it, that's all I used today. So I literally got out of the shower, put my hair in my turby twist, and then I just kind of let it air dry a little bit. And then when it was like, you know, it's still damp right now, or not damp, but it's like, you know, it got a little bit of wetness in it. Not wet, but you know what I mean? It's still a tiny bit damp. And then I just sprayed this like all over it and just kind of scrunched it. And that's it. And then I just kind of pinned this back with a bobby pin, but my roots are like super horrible. It's okay. 
So yeah, that's all I did. So if you're like, if you really like that kind of beachy wave and you have like a soft wave to your hair naturally, um, then pick this stuff up. I love it. You can get it at the beauty supply. You can get it at salons that carry aquage. So you can get it on eBay, Folica, Amazon. I mean, you can find it anywhere. It just gives you those really nice kind of, I'm a beach girl wave. I've got my beachy necklace on. You know what I mean? It's all about kind of, and I've got beachy makeup too bronzy kind of beachiness. That's what's going on today. Uh, and if you're wondering, I do not have a tutorial for this, so, but I will have all the products that I'm wearing on my face on my blog. So if you are wondering, what's that eyeshadow or what's that lip gloss? It will be on my blog. So, um, at least there's that. Um, my last favorite is a delightful random, and this was super amazing. If you read my blog, then you'll probably have already seen that I spoke about it. Uh, if you don't read my blog, you should. Uh, these I normally have to get at World Market and for me it's like a special trip you know I don't normally shop at World Market for my groceries so I never end up going there really unless it's like a special occasion and I'm getting something specific but for the most part I don't but these they started carrying them at Walmart and I don't know if it's every Walmart but it's at my Walmart and it was kind of like hidden like you almost couldn't see it was on the very top shelf in the cookie aisle and I was like what and it's a different packaging than I'm used to, so I almost missed it. And then I was like, oh my god, I think my my cookie angel just spoke to me. It's the McVitie's Milk Chocolate Digestive Biscuits. These are basically like the yummiest cookies of life. They're cookie, that's, they're called a biscuit because that's English. But they're like, they're wheat biscuits with milk chocolate on top. And I'm going to take one out so you can see. So it comes in this box and it look, it's got made in Britain. Snazzy. And then it comes in a little package like this. And then the actual cookie. I was so excited when I found these. <laughs> I don't normally eat cookies. I'm not really a cookie person. I prefer like, you know, pastries and cake, which I don't normally eat, but I don't normally like cookies. So because I'm so used to these cookies that it's like, I can't eat another cookie. It's just not right. You know what I mean? This is what they look like. So they've got the milk chocolate on top. And then on the other side, it's kind of like this, um, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a wheat um, digestive cookie. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but they're really good. And it's melting in my hands right now because it's really hot. And um, they're pretty much delicious. So, yeah. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, I found those at Walmart. So, definitely check out your Walmart. It's on the top shelf. It was on the end where all of kind of like the the world cookies are. If you haven't ever tried them, definitely try them out. So yeah, uh, amazing, amazing. And if you live in the UK, then you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, Sam, you're such a dingle hopper. We get these all the time. So yes, I'm so excited. I just, these are like my special treat that I have occasionally, you know, when I'm feeling a bit like, oh, I need a little bit of a cookie. So good. For my fudgeroo, I have one and it's not necessarily the formula, it's more, I'll, I'll explain. It's the Skintimate um, Moisturizing Shave Gel. And I got the Strawberry Tangerine Twist. Normally I get another flavor, but I can't remember what flavor I normally get. But I was thinking, this is gonna smell amazing. Strawberry Tangerine Twist? It looks really delicious. Like, look at all those smells. I was like, oh, yum. It doesn't even smell like strawberries. <gasps> oh. There was a lot of water in the cap. Oh, Freak Nuts is dripping on me. When you smell it like this out of the jar, or whatever this is called, can thing, it, oh, I got it on my nose. It's dripping all over me and it's all on my nose. Great. It does smell good, but then when you actually use it, like, you can hardly even smell it. So that was kind of disappointing because the other one that I got, well, like a berry one or something, it smelled really, really strong and it was so yummy. And every time I shaved, I was like, Yum! And this one I was like, ah, I don't even smell anything. Um, so, a little bit disappointed in that. Sorry, I'm wiping up all of this mess that I just made. How annoying. So yeah, that's my fudgeroo. Nothing major. I mean, it works fine. It shaved my legs fine. I mean, I used a razor, but it's just the smell wasn't as strong as I was hoping for. It was a little bit too subtle for moi. So yes, that's about it really. Pretty much. I, I'm sorry that I don't have that much this week, but you know, maybe you saw some little things that you had been thinking about or um, 
now you want to get them. I don't know. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys have an amazing weekend. And I cannot believe that it's almost the end of April. Like, oh, holy crud moly, this is crazy. Life just goes by so fast. So enjoy it. <laughs> so uh, don't forget to check my blog for what I'm wearing on my face. And I'll see you later. I'll see you next week. Bye.